Hi everybody, I thought I would uh, jump on and give you guys a tour of my craft room. I'm also going to break it down into a little bit of a blog post um, on my website as well later. Um, so I'm going to sort of start off by showing you what you already have seen, um, which would be my backdrop for any of my live videos. But I'm going to give you a little bit more information in depth, talk about the actual products I have in here and you know if you want to know where anything's from or how I store something please ask away um, I'm not gonna even bother spinning the camera so you can see me because my hair is not done and I'm still in my jammies as you can see my slippies um, yeah that's not happening today so um, I haven't seen any comments pop up yet so I don't know if I can see the comments or not um, yeah, so please feel free to ask questions, otherwise I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'll start off with um, this space. So this is just my wall of amazing backdrop. Well, it's amazing for me. Um, these cupboards here, or these bookcases, um, are actually the bookcases that my sister used to use in her salon. So they are just from Fantastic Furniture um, and... I just place them because we've got really high ceilings. Hi, Andrea. Um, I place them on top of the, I think they are called the Como Kids Chester Drawers. So um, we have a bit of a space here in the middle, which is our, I'm so jealous of this room. <laughs> you haven't even seen it all yet, Jodie. <laughs> but there's a PowerPoint there and I needed to have access to that. So I kind of created a little gap in the middle with the PowerPoint. And then I've also got a gap down here, which has my bin in it. So I've got these Como drawers. I've got three of them in a row. Uh, I think they're about $100 at um, each at Fantastic Furniture. And then bookcases are just $39 from Fantastic Furniture as well. Um, I've secured them together with some, um, like, Gorilla Tape, just so that it stays there. Um, you can see here I've got a small portion of my glitter collection, so um, I store all of my glitter in shakers uh, when I can get my shakers. I'm waiting for more. And I'm actually using these, uh, I think these ones are from Big W, but you can also get them from Kmart. They're just the bamboo three-tier um, shelves, uh, probably free pantry section from the kitchen. Um, obviously, I have one of my acrylic night lights um, done in the, what's that called, opaque, um, and some of the flowers around. That's a teddy bear up there that my husband gave me back before we were even engaged. We were still dating. Um, so that's pretty much my storage for that. I have this little container here for my alcohol inks. Um, and I have some of the Artisu pigments um, that I got on sale, but you can't get them anymore. A couple of projects that I've done from different lives, um, which is amazing. Uh, I've got my small easy press, a couple of just easy to reach things for when I do my lives down here. So like that goes underneath the little gap down there. Um, I've got... Of just a variety of little things. I've got my Explore One under the cover here. It's really old um, and very discoloured, <laughs> which happens with plastic. So I've got my Explore One. The great thing about these shells, it actually fits the machines. I've got my Explore Air 2 in boysenberry. Um, I have this cute little guy um, that was made for me by Karen Kelly um, at last year's Craftathon. So if anyone isn't part of Cricket for Australians, I don't know if you saw Paul's post, but he did a uh, post today saying that we're going to have some further news on Monday about the Craftathon, so make sure you join. Um, I've got some of my Cricket cuties that I've collected. Um, if I get lots of messages asking where we can get these from. Generally, um, like this guy here, I got him from last year's Craftathon that we ha hosted. This one here came from a Spotlight Mystery Box. This one here came from TVSN, I believe. And then this cute guy was a gift from someone in America. So, um, be, by all means, um, you can get them in Australia. They're just not 
accessibly, accessibly for sale. Whew. Um, so my infusible ink pens held in my lots of style um, draining kind of, I don't even know what you call that container, but it's meant to be, a, you know, a drainer for your kitchen. Um, my pins that I got from my, the Cricut Mountain Makeathon. Uh, so when Jules and I went over to Utah, we went to the Mountain Makeathon, so we had to kind of collect a passport worth of pins. Um, there are old videos on the page as well about that event. Um, however, Cricut don't host it anymore. However, it is the actual basis of our craftathon here in um, Australia. So we kind of took our experience and went back to that. A couple of projects from previous lives. My joy satchel. Something I made for myself and my husband. Some cards. This cute little guy from the joy launch in Sydney that I went to earlier this year. Alrighty, so I'm storing some mats over here near my live section. I just use the 3M hooks um, and I just store whatever ones I need. Some more of the flowers from the um, Better Homes and Gardens shoot that I uh, made creations for. Um, we'll get down to this area. You can see a little platform that I'm standing on. This is because my table's here are a little bit too high for me to be not on the ground. So my amazing brother just built me a little platform so if you hear it creaking when I come up to do lives it's because you know it's just wood <laughs> um, so we've got the bin obviously um, <laughs> we've got my drawers so this is where I keep my infusible ink in this one and some blanks and more infusible ink and a whole bunch of glues and paints and bits and pieces so everything's packed away uh, we'll come over here down the bottom oh if I move this you can see it more but that's just my faux leathers some iron-on some regular vinyl over here some transfer tape and spare mats um, and already cut transfer tape so I can just grab it out. Some more iron on. Some self-adhesive vinyl. So I've got my removable here on this side. Um, minus the, I think that's removable. Yeah, that's removable. And then all my permanent over there. Um, underneath here, I have my joy trolley so it's got some of my joy stuff on it and that box under here has all of my joy insert cards so I just pull it out when I need it um, and normally I keep my tripod there for my lives and stuff um, I have an easy to access sort of pegboard you can't really see it when I go live but I have the pegboard there um, just so that you know anything I can access. I've got a machine up here all the time so that I'm not constantly moving things around. And I have my lots of style um, rubbish bin just there so it's easy for access as well. Um, my laptop that I got just for when I'm doing my lives so I can run the programs. Just a little um, I guess overhead camera holder and then two of my easy presses. Um, where are we now? So I haven't finished filling the ends of here. This was actually a wine rack for the bar tables. Um, but I've got my party foil in there and I'm going to put some more vinyl in there when I um, get to unpacking it. I've got a box that I've still got to unpack. Um, behind my live table, which you don't see, is my little resin table I guess my turners my tumblers so there's a cup that I'm working on currently started it last night <laughs> thanks Sharon um, for those that did see that's the box that I one of the boxes I released um, I use these silicon feeding mats from Kmart because the resin just kind of pops off of it really easy it's a real mess at the moment I've got to clean it um, I have four of these turners from Coastal Creations um, 
and you just put like your gas mate or your jump buck motors on the back from the rotisserie ones. Obviously, I used two different types of resin. Uh, due to COVID, I had to change what I was using. So I was using um, Amaze uh, uh, EX74, but now I'm using uh, Diamond Coat from Just Resin. Um, that's my uh, DJ and Raw turner. And then I've got a holder for all of my cups. So I've got some more that I want to play with. Have my heat gun at the ready, gloves, that kind of thing. I have some more glitter here. Oh, let me zoom out a little. So once again, they're all kind of color coded. It's all, you know, your blues to greeny teals, all of your pinks, a little bit of gold here, some dark ones. Yeah, kind of dotty ones because I don't like to keep them all the same. So yeah, there's heaps in there and I've got my printer here now. Heaps of people ask me about my printer and it's not as fancy as Paul's printer, but it's definitely amazing. Um, so uh, the biggest hint for your printer is to make sure that you change your print settings when using print and cut for the Cricut. So the changing of the print settings is important because you want to make sure you get the most high quality print you possibly can. So always use um, the option to adjust your print settings. Um, inside these drawers, I just hold my little folders for my scraps. And then down the bottom, I just have some extras for my tumbler stuff, um, you know, resin dyes and I've got to fill up these bottles to give them a try, sanding blocks, all that kind of thing. Um, underneath the tables is always messy. Uh, that's a whole bag of essentially blanks that I want to start working with. And in these here, yes, it is glitter heaven. <laughs> in here, I've got some more glitter that I haven't found a place to keep yet. So I've just got randoms here. Um, and I've got two sort of boxes of random glitters. And some of these are just craft glitter as well um, that I have. And then there's another box in there of glitter. And then if I come over here, I have a box full of pigments. So from a variety of different places. So I've got, you know, the Pearl X pigments. I got these ones here from Craft Online. I've got the Sparkles by Carby Designs ones. Um, some more sparkles. Some more sparkles. These are amazing colors. And then there's the Glitter Your World ones. These are the uh, color changing ones. So I have a large variety. Um, definitely. And then there's all of the Artie Sue ones that are up on my shelf. Uh, these boxes here are just document boxes, and I got them from the reject shop a while ago. Not sure if they're still available, though. Um, I always get comments on them, and they're absolutely gorgeous. So, still got more room down here for storage, but I wanted something that would hold it, and that's just a Kmart four-cube shelf. Really inexpensive. Ugh, getting old. This table here that I'm working on is just an old trestle table. And I just covered it in white vinyl and I just used uh, the uh, the Bunnings vinyl, just the white one there so that I wasn't, you know, using anything expensive. Once again, I think that's just a shelf from Fantastic Furniture. And these were just $20 student desks from Officeworks. And I just covered it in purple because I like purple. Um, that is a box of vinyl I need to... Um, unpack essentially and then I have my drawers my Alex drawers here from Ikea so I have it sort of organized and I just use sort of these drawer dividers from like the kitchen section in Kmart um, they're not super organized but you know paint brushes foam brushes glue stick um, Got a lot of chipboard in here, just bits and pieces, alligator clips. Um, some basswood, 
some of the wooden um, shapes, um, some diamond paintings, which I never get a time to do, but I enjoy them. Um, my glue guns are the, the gun things for your snaps, so your fabric. Um, a heap of rubber bands. And then rubbish bin bags, um, metal blanks, a uh, little mini saw. I use a lot of um, cotton tips just to clean up different surfaces if I don't need a big bit. And that's actually where I store my jewellery because I don't have a jewellery box. So that's all my jewellery from my sister's um, sister in law's business, so Nun Kiri Design. So I come there when I need my earrings. Oh, <laughs> I just hit my bum. <laughs> So next we have here is uh, the glitters that I just unpacked yesterday. So I have yet to find a place for all of them. Um, but amazing colours if you're in glitter heaven like I am. This space here is my more usable space. So it's what I use for me. So I have my joy easy at hand. There's more Joy vinyl in here too. Um, glues and tapes up there. Um, the magazines that Cricut had a feature in that I had a part of. My Cricut pens, my chalk paints or acrylic paints. Easy to access tools. This is amazing. My little uh, glitter storage. I mean vacuum. I received this a nice little amazing gift from Veronique. Um, so she made me a little Cricut tool holder um, and that's my go-to. Um, I have just some extras so um, there's like pearls and different um, beads and stuff like that. Um, once again, spare blades just sitting there at the moment. I have my large easy press plugged in ready to use. So this is my one that I use pretty much all the time. This is my main computer that I work at. Um, it's a HP all-in-one. I did have to upgrade it for my lives because this was uh, didn't have a big enough processor. Yes, um, Penny, a glitter vacuum. So they're available. There are We Are Memory Keepers. They're available at Spotlight. And it just vacuums it up. <laughs> and then I've got my work computer. So I still have a nine to five job. Um, and this is my workspace, so um, I was out in the dining room, but I decided that I needed to be in this space, not so I could craft all day like, you know, everyone expects, but just so that I can close the door and my husband can still do whatever he needs around the house because he works nights, so, you know, generally he's home in the day. Um, this is sort of more for my working, but, you know, my little notebook that I put absolutely everything in, so I had to close it up because there's some top secrets in there. Um, and then this is a lot of my working table, but it, it's, you know, whatever it needs to be at the time. Um, I have anything that I'm currently in the process of working on, um, or about to work on, or I need to use very soon. I just sort of sit it on the side of the table. I do have a vacuum here, which I have. I'm trying to be smart about and um, have it ready because glitter gets everywhere and my husband already comments about how much he needs to vacuum my craft room. Um, I have a little bit of a sewing table. Um, I don't sew a lot. I'm not the biggest seamstress in the world. Um, I just got back into it after making the masks. So I've been making some of these masks. This is just Harry Potter ones, bare leftover. Um, it's a kid size though, so sorry. Um, I have some of my longer mats here. There was already, from when we moved rooms, there was already a, you know, 3M on the wall. I have some Kmart cube storage here. Um, this one's a little bit messy here. It's just got random like fabrics. 
in the top here it has extras to help with my resin or my glittering so funnels syringes cups little measuring cups anything any extra glitters all there um, the rest of them are just junk let's be real stuff that I haven't committed to I mean I've even got WD-40 in there just in case <laughs> some spare baubles here I don't make any more like to sell so yeah um, I have a television which is connected via HDMI cable to my computer so that I can launch things up onto the TV although I don't know if you can tell but my TV is kind of melted in the corner it was sitting in front of a window and it melted here so note to self don't put things like TVs in direct sunlight <laughs> um, or it will melt so I'm gonna go step back a bit so you can see the tops of these cupboards or all of them if we can so I have a bank of cupboards here there's three cupboards they are all from fantastic furniture um, but I like that I can just store things behind them up the top I just received or got these I think they're cast as um, shoe boxes and I just have sort of my ribbon in it and some sticky tape and extra blades and stuff um, then there's a couple of plastic tubs some empty ones and then the ones that I need to go through so be gentle um, anything extra that I need to store so any of my easy press cases up there or my laptop case and two empty pink boxes that I'm yet to um, go through it is a massive room Anna like it's huge I think it was like six meters by like four and that doesn't sound huge but when you put everything in here it's huge alrighty so I've got the cupboards open so I keep my blank tumblers up the top here um, some more tumblers and blanks so I've got blank drink bottles these are just the plastic ones I used to use to sell so I've got a couple spare um, I've got a set of the um, bottles the what are they called you know your shampoo conditioner bottles a couple of empty shelves because I'm yet to put things in them and then down right down the bottom is what's left of my tumblers or my shakers and this box here sort of just has some blank onesies left over and some sublimation blanks for like some polyester ones that from when I used to do sublimation so there's a sublimation um, pillowcases onesies and I think a couple of other items so I'll put that back in Mickey, yeah, I don't mind sharing where I get all my glitter from, um, but I'll do a post, a proper post. Most of my glitter is from Glitter Your World or um, Sparkles by Carby Designs, but I do buy glitter from other places as well. So this is my cardstock stuff, um, well, mainly cardstock. So I use these plastic containers to color code. Um, there's some empty ones, obviously, but they are the, well, they're pretty much... A combination between the Kmart ones and the spotlight ones but they are all interlinked together so we've got like pinks reds these are my Cricut pattern papers that I got when I was in America um, my regular pattern cardstock my glitter cardstock that are bright colors my neutrally gold silvers blacks rose golds are in here for my glitter cardstock my browns black and white this has any of my sheets of vinyl up the top here I keep any a4 or slightly a4 just in these document holders from Kmart just so I can store it upright um, I'm gonna be OCD later and go through and color code them as well um, but I just chucked them all in for the now and any extras that I just can't fit in will sit off to the side um, down the bottom here sorry to everybody I did buy out the <laughs> clocks at my local Kmart um, but these are sort of my selections of like blank frames or wooden pieces um, 
And then right down the bottom here is this one here. These two should have my felt. So that one's nearly empty, but the big one has felt sheets. Not that I do a lot of felt, but I always buy more than I actually need. Oh, here. I don't know how you got there. These tubs are just from Kmart. And then here, that one's empty. And I think crepe paper is in here. So yeah, my crepe paper's in there. So my crepe paper's either the Leah Griffith crepe paper or the little flower number nine crepe paper. So that's who I use. And then the final cupboard is not complete either. So I've just got a couple of blanks, glass coasters, wooden coasters, um, my Xyron machine, some canvases that I'll make a reverse canvas for, blank notebooks, because you always need blank notebooks. A little bit more organization in here. So different types of papers, um, laminating sheets, envelopes, satchels. Like I said, I don't sell anymore, but I do from time to time have to post to people. Um, some tote bags are in here. Uh, random bits of bobs. I was going to teach myself how to crochet, yet to do, yet to do it. Um, empty. Some of the domes. Um, spray paints. Uh, clear contact and Kmart marble vinyl and things like that and then I just have a few laundry items down the bottom that I want to personalize and that's pretty much my room so yes I am telling you that it ends so this is sort of what I'm working with here so just give you a view all around But I will go through and outline any questions that you guys have. Keep asking away. And um, I will also create a, a post on my website because I'm finally getting time to actually update it. And I will go through and link where you can purchase everything. Um, I don't get commission if you purchase anything that I'm telling you about. I'm just showing it because... You know, who doesn't love an organized craft room? And I've organized my craft room many, many a times. So I thought you guys might enjoy seeing what I do. All right, well, have a wonderful day. So glad that my Darth Vader voice didn't come back from this live. And I will see you guys another day. Bye.